What's up everyone to my only escape from the cursed word responsibility known as my YouTube channel poke here and well if there's like a very loud like brrrr or something like that then that's because there's this loud ass airplane uh, out in the sky right now while I'm recording so anyways uh, I'm basically going back to my 7th grade roots of my YouTube channel <laughs> yeah it's kind of a trope to make fun of your old videos and say how cringe they are but god <laughs> mine were much worse besides that I have talked about Undertale on this channel so it isn't a surprise I would talk about its sequel prequel Delta room it's still not clear I honestly think it's a multiverse but anyways Surprisingly enough, I just finished the game a few weeks ago than when it came out in 2018. It's not that I wasn't interested in it or that I didn't really like it. It was just that it was around the time, you know, well, you feel like that you're all the shit and stuff in school because a few people talk to you and that's really it and that gives you a confidence boost. I was like that with me, but I did still think the game was good. I just didn't play it. And I would say it only got a bad rep because <laughs> the Undertale fans, like the worst ones, like populated a whole thing for the first year and then they left. And then it just became like the literal gravestone from Delta Room. Well, anyways, I played both and I was able to like beat both pacifist and genocide slash snow gray route in the last couple of weeks. Chapter 2 definitely had a lot of hype to it and it succeeded in bringing us more things than in the game that we fans suspected and a very new route was made for the missing genocide route in chapter 1. Spoilers obviously. Uh, but Snowgrave leaves off with Chris being a controlling psychopath towards Noelle, one of the new members introduced, and like the literal like embodiment of happiness and stuff getting ruined by us the player. And it basically kills off a character in the route, Birdly. Hopefully the ones that actually like played the game still watching this part. Well, the question is, did we actually killed Birdly. Undertale's main theme of the story is that your actions have consequences and playing through pacifist gave you a very good ending and genocide made you the epitome of a real monster despite there actually being monsters in the game and doing a pacifist route to make up for the genocide route doesn't erase the stuff you did in the last run get a lot of creepy uh, dialogue from the characters. This however is very different from the main theme of Deltarune. Deltarune's main theme revolves around uh, your actions having no consequences or meaning. While yes, if you did attack every enemy in the game, there will be additional dialogue saying how you beat them up but not kill them. And either way, in chapter 2, the monsters still go to your little village, well, the ones from chapter 1. And the reason of it is that <laughs> Lancer convinced them that uh, you're not that bad of a person and that like, since he's the new king, that's basically an order. And it doesn't really change how the next chapter is, it's just that, that really... They kind of hate you, but not really. They're just forced to like you. But it's still not different from if you did it the more pacifist friendly way. But what does this all mean to Deltarune Snowgirt? Well, 
it's in the title of the video and y'all are probably growing impatient well it's a route where you literally freeze people to death and it even leads to dialogue routes and even abilities being changed the short answer is it'll all be retconned for the next chapter i'm sorry but it's the truth deltarune very much differs from undertale where undertale only had one save file deltarune has three save files and even for additional chapters and the individual ones that you can play through right now this gives the player more freedom to experience different routes on different save files but it takes away the suspense from erasing a happy ending and starting a new one there aren't many consequences because its main theme is like i said before consequences don't have meaning here this does however does not follow the way the story is going as that's very different Although the theme is consequences isn't having any meaning here, we the player cannot accept this and try many ways to see if anything can be different in the game or if we can get a power up perhaps, which is why each chapter as of now has Chris ripping their soul out and stabbing themselves, but with chapter 2 it has Chris creating a new dark fountain and the player is the one going after way to create an interesting conclusion to a world with no consequences. There will be some disagreements towards this like, what happened to Burley if he didn't die? Why doesn't he move at all? Although this could definitely be disproven in the next chapter, my personal theory is while yes Burley kinda died in the cyber world, he still has a body and Although I said Deltarune and Undertale are very different, it's a known fact that when a monster dies, their soul fades away, turns into complete ash. The reason I say this is because us the players still die the same way as in Undertale, just with the new mysterious voice talking to us instead of Asgore. Humans still die the same way, and so might the monsters, which is why Burly's soul doesn't appear to be gone and there's no like uh piles of ashes where he was because that would be completely dark uh one last notable argument is the psychological trauma noelle goes through after delta room especially if you go visit her in the hospital with her dad and you pick the specific dialogue there are two ways that the whole plot could go in the next chapters Either this comes into play in, I don't know, probably like the very last chapter where all the sins you the player commit come together to stop it. you and Noel goes all out on trying to game end you. Uh, family friendly moment. Or she tries her very best to ignore what happens and still live her life as she used to like what she was doing before even after the hospital we have to remember yes there are some stuff tracked on your runs and on whether you're good or an absolute joke but the story is trying to tell us is you can go out of your way to cause problems for people but it won't mean anything and that's why in my personal opinion that can most likely get debunked by Toby Fox himself is that Deltarune Chapter 3 will probably not even acknowledge what you did at Snow Grave Route um, with maybe some small references to it but there's no doubt Chapter 3 will be huge and even have more things that will excite us players hell there's even theories going around that Toriel and even Undyne might even become like uh, a part of the team as well which will be very crazy especially since of all the dialogue and stuff that we can choose with Noel at the whole point of the video thank you all so much well to the people who actually watched through this video uh believe it or not this is my second time recording this uh I was trying to 
uh, record all the audio and stuff, but then like I realized that <laughs> um, doing these recordings when people are here is not that good. Like the noise will definitely pick up from the mic and you could probably even hear like some like that. So yeah. Um, if you want to support the channel, please do because I have to do all these things and go out of my way to make videos for y'all. And I'm actually like very glad I'm able to do this kind of stuff. Even if they're not the most popular, I'm just glad uh, having to put like some enjoyment into these videos. My last video was like even 25 minutes long and it took up uh, my whole Saturday, but it was a pretty fun and enjoyable thing to do for my weekend. So I just want to say thank you all again. Um, Deltarune and Undertale are not going to be the main things of this channel. Uh, it will mostly be anime. So if you just came here for Undertale and Deltarune, at least just watch through some of my anime videos. Uh, I've watched YouTubers before where uh, they talk about a topic I'm not that much uh, a fan of, but I rather like want to watch it for the content creator themselves. I'm not forcing y'all to watch my videos. <laughs> it's kind of hard to watch through minds, uh, but I would really appreciate it if y'all did. Um, anyways. I'll release an anime video pretty soon, though I'd have to pick which one I'd want to talk about, so that might take as long as this video did. I don't even know how long this video will be. Um, it, it felt like a very short video, but it might not be in the editing. Well, anyways, see you guys. Uh, check my social medias out, and peace.